What started as a liberal promise of tax breaks to businesses training new Canadians has become the hot button issue of the Ontario election campaign so far. Northern Ontario has been hard hit by high unemployment rates, shuttered sawmills and closed mines. And many point a finger of blame squarely at Queen's Park's misunderstanding of Northern issues. Good evening everybody from Toronto, I'm Steve Pakin. You said you're against the HST. Ms. Horvath says she's against the HST. Well, why are you keeping the HST? I met with a, a gentleman in Dubreville. I don't know if you know where Dubreville is. It's not too far from Wawa. You said that hydro bills are coming down. Sir, with all due respect, 10%. nobody believes you anymore. As political parties go, the Green Party of Ontario is relatively new on the scene. What we need to do is we need to invest in energy, energy efficiency and conservation. And so green voters in some ways are like uh, going down a one-way street. The commitment deepens because people uh, are concerned about their children's future. I want to exploit every possible opportunity when it comes to building a strong, clean energy sector. We're actually to give families relief. The HST relief on heat and hydro, the debt retirement charge. Uh, focusing on making life more affordable, uh, creating new jobs for people. You know what, we're talking about lowering taxes on small businesses to create good local jobs. to a working-class family in a suburb of Hamilton. I'm Marisa. I'm your Liberal candidate for the Ontario election. And so they turned to me and said, well, you know, Carol, can you run for MPP? And we welcome all you Ontario first-timers to the Agenda. It's Thank nice you. to have you here. Thank you. It's great to be here. Agenda Camp, where engaged citizens, local leaders, and policymakers come together to talk about the issues that matter to them in the 2011 Ontario election. We have to decide where, what our niche is as, as, uh, as Ontarians. Question of, of the North. There has been no investment for 100 years like there was in the period 1900 to 1910. And what is it we want the parties to do to help Hamilton? So it was a, a chance to find out what Niagarans think. Tonight, live from the nation's capital, our first agenda on the road of this year as we count down to the Ontario general election of 2011. The conversation online is about as tight as the race. Uh, it seems like <laughs> all four parties are right in the mix. The Greens are the only one who aren't getting hammered for their record when they were in power. <laughs> one thing I think we can say at this stage is that we are going to call a Liberal minority government for the province of Ontario. Dalton McGinty wins his third consecutive election. <music> Jeffrey, it's good to see you in that chair again. How are you? I'm well, and it's always a privilege to be on the best public affairs show in Canada. Thank you for saying so. I'd like to thank uh, TVO for having this, uh, this debate. I think it's a very good opportunity for people to come over and at least have somebody listen to us. I wanted to say what a, 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 an education it was for me to be here as well, and I donated as a result of what a good time I had today, so I think that's hugely important as well. Yeah. 